Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a thumbnail for your Scratch project. So you may have noticed on the Boot Up projects that we've all got these unique thumbnails that kind of give you a little preview of what's to come in the uh, actual project when you click on it. So I'm gonna show you how you can do that. So right now I've got this very boring, super jumpy Scratch Cat thumbnail. So when I click see inside, and loads up the project. And what I'm going to do is create a thumbnail like this. So let me get rid of it. So that way you can see um, this process. So first thing I want to do is I want to add in another version of uh, Scratch Cat. So I'm going to choose a sprite because um, I want Scratch Cat in my thumbnail. And so this next one that we've added, I'm going to rename it to thumbnail. So that way it's easy to remember what the sprite is. And I'm going to go into the costumes. Now, in the quick reference guide that is uh, below this video, you'll actually be able to see using the bitmap tools. But I'm going to show you in this video how to use the vector mode to get this to work. So uh, what I want to do is I want to create a um, blank backdrop that covers up everything else that's on my project page. So to do that, I'm actually going to use a rectangle. And I'm going to fill. And I'm going to fill with the color white. And I don't actually want an outline, so I'm just going to say, hey, you can just leave it blank. So now I'm going to drag this, sort of white, kind of off-white, and cover up this whole thing. Now, you notice that it covered up the sprite that I just added. So all I have to do is just click on this back, and that sends that new rectangle or square all the way to uh, the back of this and behind Scratch Cat. Okay, so this is good, but I want to also add in a title so that way um, people know what this is. So I could type in super jumpy scratch cat exclamation point. And now when I click outside of it, I can drag this to make the text bigger. I can change the uh, font so I can make it like marker. And then I can actually angle this so that way uh, it's an angle like that. Cool. So I like this. However, right now my thumbnail isn't uh, covering up everything on the screen. You can actually see stuff behind it. So now we're going to go into the code and I'll show you how you can fix that. So what you want it to do is you want it to go to zero, 00, which is the middle of the screen, like this. You want to make sure that the thumbnail is showing whenever um, we are on the project page. And we want it to have it go in front of everything. So for example, we don't want to have uh, this scratch cat in front, the one that does the flip. We want to have our thumbnail in front. So these three blocks, we don't have to connect to anything, but when you simply click on this when you're working on your project, it'll put this thumbnail in front of everything on here. Now the only thing that you want to do is when you're using a thumbnail is you want to hide it whenever the green flag is clicked. So now when we press the green flag, it's going to make it so that our thumbnail hides and then it, um, uh, actually starts running our project. So to recap, you're going to add in a sprite, name it thumbnail. You're going to give it a completely blank backdrop and some kind of a title on there. And then you're going to use these three blocks to make it so that whenever you're ready to save and close your project, you simply click on this. And then you can say save now. So this puts your thumbnail on top. And because it's the last thing that's saved, it's the thing that we will see when we click on see project page. So now when people open up their project or when they're looking uh, at the studio, they're going to see Super Jumpy Scratch Cat, the thumbnail, and then when they press the green flag, it's going to make it so that thumbnail hides and it can actually run the project. So that's how you create a thumbnail in Scratch. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.